Hi, welcome to this week's Macworld video. I'm your host, Senior Editor Chris Breen. Well, as Leopard is still the big talk of the Macworld, I thought I'd take a few moments to discuss a couple of features that aren't getting a lot of airtime. Let's start with Photo Booth. As I mentioned in a recent Mac 911 blog, the masking feature doesn't work quite as well as it could. You'll notice some artifacts bleeding through. But Photo Booth is a great tool for creating a quick and dirty video. Just do this. Click the video icon and then click the normal setting in the middle of the window. Then click the record button and lights camera action. When the video is complete, you can click the email button to attach the video to a new mail message, or you can click iPhoto to move the video into your iPhoto library. Or you can just drag the video to the desktop to create a QuickTime movie. Note that PhotoBoost videos have a lower frame rate than a capture from within QuickTime Pro. PhotoBoost movies average between 10 and 20 frames per second and contrast that to QuickTime Pro where you'll capture around 24 frames per second or better. Care to see what your Mac's fonts look like? There's a simple way to do it with Leopard's Fontbook. Launch Fontbook and select the fonts you want to preview. Choose Print from the File menu. In the Print dialog box that appears, you have the option to choose three views. The first is Catalog, which shows you an example of each typeface you select. The next is Repertoire, a view that displays each character the font offers. And then there's Waterfall, where you can view the fonts in a variety of sizes. A complete font catalog can run to hundreds of pages, so think twice before you actually print the thing. For many of us, a better way to go is to choose Save as PDF from the PDF menu at the bottom of the Print dialog box. And finally, Time Machine provides a cool way to restore your photos from your iPhoto library. Open iPhoto and launch Time Machine. You'll see that the iPhoto window collapses slightly but continues to show your pictures even when in the Time Machine view. Use Time Machine's control to go back in time to locate the images you want to restore. Select those images and then click the Restore button to bring them back. iPhoto will import them and add them back to the catalog. There's a lot more hiding under Leopard's hood. For more information on Leopard, keep an eye on Macworld.com. Thanks for joining me. See you around.